initiating dimensional integration. Research subject, Exofighters. Transferring subject to new war game phase. Welcome to my research facility. Hey guys, what's up? This is Jack2505 and today I will be reviewing Exo Primal, the new PvPVE third person shooter from Capcom released on Xbox, PlayStation and PC on the 14th of July 2023. Exo Primal is also a day one game pass release. This game also includes crossplay, but only if you're on the same ecosystem. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I've been anticipating Exo Primal for a while now. I've covered both betas on the channel and I was really looking forward to seeing how this game will be released. With 10 XL suits to select, all with different attributes and placed into three different categories, Assault, Tank and Support. There will be an XL suit to suit your style in combat. The year is 2043. Vortex Rifts have been all, all over the world, unleashing a dinosaur outbreak. You are Ace, who is part of the Hammerhead squad who meets Leviathan, a new generation AI who summons the dinosaurs in order to play war games on the planet. It's up to you and the rest of the team to push back the forces of the dinosaurs and make sure they don't rule the planet once more. The main game mode is Dino Survival, which is a 5v5 race to complete objectives. So this is where the PvPVE kicks in. Both teams will compete against each other, completing objectives such as holding down an area, defeating medium to very large dinosaurs, and you have to do this faster than the enemy team. Exo Primal allows you to change Exo Suits on the move, so even if you select an Exo Suit at the start of the match, you're not bound to your choice, and you can switch things up during the fight, which is good. Once the objective um, reaches climax, you then engage in a PvP battle against the other team whilst dealing with the dinosaurs at the same time. This was the case in the beta and I think a lot of players including myself didn't really like this concept. However, Capcom have introduced a PvE only mode which removes the need to directly fight the other team and I prefer this option. The story mode is basically playing Dino Survival mode over and over again and every once in a while you're treated to a cutscene which is to be honest, not the most exciting thing in the world. You just watch the crew of the Hamhead indulge themselves in very normal, boring conversations. Nothing groundbreaking or memorable here. Exo Primal has an end game content called Savage Gauntlet, which will be released July the 28th. It will be a five player mission in which you compete globally against other players for the fastest clear time, with different rules every week. So it looks like you'll have to be very leveled for this activity. Best to keep playing Dino Survival, level up one of each class and prepare for July 28th. During the game, you will be able to pick up extra analysis which gives extra story and lore behind the dinosaurs and the world for those players who want more than just a basic story. This can be found in the analysis map section. After each battle, you gain XP and level up. You head over to the hangar area to customize your exo suits with, with new rigs and modules. Now, the skins that you get in this game, they look really good. Some you can earn in-game, others will be in the Premium Pass, War Chest, and in the Microsoft Store. These look really cool, and I think they'll be worth buying if you're into those types of cosmetics. Exo Primo has good graphics. The Exo suits, they look very stylish, easy on the eye, and players will feel good using them and looking at them as well. 
Enemy Desert E is also the star of the show with so many dinosaurs on the screen, putting the team under constant pressure and providing good on-screen action. Great side effects too with the weapons and special abilities. For a lot of players, I fear that Exo Primal might get old quick. It only has around three maps and one mode on release. Also, this is a game that makes you you basically have to be very competitive because you're constantly up against other players in one way or another. I think this this is truly a game for PvE players who are very competitive. Just think of players who like to complete games like co-op games together really fast and get the best times. I think this will be the perfect game for those types of players. With Savage Gauntlet coming up, I'm sort of getting what I want in a PvE only dedicated quite difficult mode. Overall, I think Exo Primal is a good game for certain competitive PvE players and audience. Perhaps not for the regular PvE player who just wants to just chill and shoot dinosaurs. In this game, you're under pressure to perform. Guys, tell me what you think of Exo Primal. Is this a game that you would like to give a try? Have you played it yet? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505 and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.